Okay, here's my Phoenix 2000 set up for FPV. Um, I've got a pan and tilt camera right in the front here, and I, uh, that's part of the canopy there. The other part of the canopy is right here, so I split the canopy to fit the FPV pan tilt camera right there. 180 degree pan, 40 amp ESC right there, and then inside the fuselage, you can probably barely see right there. 2830 motor, 1000 kV, folding prop. Uh, the wings have been laminated, laminating film, make them stronger. And then I optimized the position of the RC, uh, uh, the RC antennas. They're a little more than four wavelengths away from the video transmitter, which is embedded in the vertical stabilizer. Uh, 1.2 gigahertz, 400 milliwatt video transmitter going to a little homemade dipole antenna. And then the uh, power and audio and visual signals from the video transmitter up to the camera. And that's all being carried by four conductor cable. Uh, it's just ordinary phone cable. Four conductor cable, it's twisted through the fuselage. No need for any ferrites. And then on the other side here, you can see at the 7 o'clock, 7.30 position, heading diagonally down, you can see the cable that's embedded in the vertical stabilizer. And then I've got a little heat sink on the video transmitter just to keep its temperature at about um, 120 degrees Fahrenheit when it's ambient temperature outside. There's no motion, no movement, no air movement, just sitting there. And it survives. It likes that. That's very comparable to what it had how it was performing when it was in a the uh, factory heat sink, the factory extruded housing. Other than that, pretty much a stock plane. I did bring the aileron servos through the top of the wing. Otherwise, it is a fairly stock plane. Oh, and what, uh, one other thing. I'm running 2200 uh, milliamp hour battery for propulsion. And 370, 370 milliamp hour battery for the video camera, video receiver, or rather video transmitter, video camera. Uh, so that's how it's powered.